Hello friends, I am Dr. Rajkumar Mishra here from Rajiv Gandhi Government PG College of Bihar, Chhattisgarh. I would like to share a lecture on expansion of an idea. This will helpful to the students of BA, BSc, BCom, BHSc, second year students. Come with my lecture. Come with my lecture. Expansion of an idea. Before before beginning, I would like to put some points, discuss some points which are very import very important before efforting and attempting an expansion of an idea first read the proverb of expression till grasping the meaning so first of all students must read the proverb or the idea that is given for an expansion three or four times so that its meaning can be grasped clear clearly meaning can be understood clearly when the meaning is understood clearly the students should begin writing in uh, he must use simple language he must add some details illustrations and proofs he must attempt a draft writing or rough writing after finishing draft writing of rough writing he must see all essential points whether it has been included or not and ensure that all the essential points must be included. He should be limited to only one or two paragraphs. Expansion should not be more than the two paragraphs. He must use variety of sentence structure. He may know to make it attractive so that he can make it attractive. Use creativity. Arrange the sentences in sequence. So what happened when the points, illustrations, and proofs have been given and in different sentences, they must be arranged in sequence. After that, the student should read it carefully. And if he finds any mistakes regarding the spelling, grammar, and punctu punctuation, he must remove it out and at last he must prepare the final draft here i would like to discuss and give an example of two ideas two proverbs how they can be expanded first idea or proverb that i am going to take is necessity is the mother of invention Really, it is a very important and popular proverb which contains a deeper meaning. It means that it means that the essence, uh, the necessity forced us to find a way out of it. The problems in our life compel us to find a solution, to find a new idea. All the small and greater scientific inventions are good examples. Whenever a man faces difficulties in his life, he comes with solutions. Man has invented fire, the will, in pre-stone age, and invented many more things to make his life comfortable. The fastest means of transport, the means of communication, farming and cultivation, and a large number of home appliances are available now. Many deadly diseases like smallpox, cholera, polio, TB, that is tuberculosis, plague, and leprosy are now curable. The invention of the computer, internet, and cell phones made our life more comfortable. The whole world has been transformed into a global village. If we look seriously, 
we find that our own urgent needs were behind these inventions it is rightly said that necessary is the mother of invention friends this is a very simple uh, example of uh, an extension of an idea i would like to make you understand with another another example i am taking another example that is prevention is better than cure it is easier to stop something happening bad in the beginning that when it happened we repair the damage after it has happened or to solve the problem after it has arisen it is wise to solve the problem in the beginning because we can stop the damage or minimize it we should not allow an enemy to enter the house than to let him enter and fight hard to drive him out similarly it is better to prevent a disease to affect our health than to fail ill and take the medicines medical support to cure it bad habits and evil thoughts are also our great enemies if bad habits like a smoking drinking liquor taking drugs are formed it is very hard to uh, drive them out therefore we must always remember that prevention is better than cure thank you